Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. I'm going to turn my attention to my next guest, Natalie Paquin. She's here to talk about Global Volunteer Month. Yeah, there's such a thing and you can get involved. Natalie, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Thank you, Valder. So lovely to be with you. Thank you so much. Well, I'm glad to have you here so we could talk about a little known, I think to some of us, Global Volunteer Month. Give me an idea of what that is. Well, Global Volunteer Month is the entire month of April where we are asking companies, nonprofits, and individuals to celebrate the power of volunteerism. You know, volunteers are amongst us every day. They're doing just ordinary things. And uh, this is a month where we're asking people to lift up and recognize those within your community that are doing good. How does the landscape look for volunteerism in 2022 then? The landscape is strong. Uh, it's it's really uh, ironic because um, sometimes we're doing things to help neighbors. We're bringing them food. We're giving them rides to pick up medicines or uh, to the grocery store. We may sit for a pet, and we don't consider that volunteerism. These are ordinary acts of kindness, but uh, volunteerism is very strong. What we learned through the pandemic is that the human spirit will not be denied. And when uh, people see other people in need, it's very normal for them to want to help. And so Global Volunteer Month is about celebrating that human spirit. You know, for some of us, volunteerism is almost second nature, but for some people, it's really intimidating. So how do we get started, whether we're comfortable or not? Uh, Valder, uh, we have one simple step which is to invite someone to join um, or ask to volunteer. We know that the number one reason why people volunteer is because they're asked. Um, When you share the impact uh, of the experience and when they feel the experience, they come back. And if you give them a good experience, you're likely to have them for a lifetime. So we say invite a friend or um, uh, let someone know that you're interested in volunteering. And you can also visit the Points of Light uh, website, pointsoflight.org org where we have tools resources and uh, stories to inspire you and give you ideas of how to get started okay so a lot of people they're edified by actually doing volunteerism how do we stay connected to this giving thing the, the way to stay connected is um, is honestly to share stories. We know that the brain is wired for stories. We like to say data plus stories equals proof. Um, and so if you share stories and tell people what you're interested in, find out what others are interested in, that's really the way to get started. And then we also encourage you to meet someone where they are. So, uh, you know, sometimes you can just use your voice. You can get out and vote. Uh, You can use your purchase power. There's so many ways uh, for people to get involved and be civically engaged. And uh, and, uh, Global Volunteer Month, April, is really about celebrating that human spirit. All right. For those people that we've got wrapped up who do want to volunteer, they'll remember how good it felt to volunteer. And those who've never volunteered that want to volunteer, where do we go online to get started? Uh, visit Points of Light at pointsoflight.org. You can put in your zip code to find opportunities in your community, or if there are no opportunities in your community that, um, that are on our website, uh, we would say think about what you're interested in, reach out to a local organization, and, uh, and then also um, ask a friend uh, to invite you uh, to share their passion with you. I want to thank my audience for staying with me. I see you guys out there on social media. Go to the website. And my guest is Natalie Paquin. She's the president and the chief executive officer of Points of Life. Natalie, I want to thank you so very much for helping us change our life. And that's what the Valdebrecht is about. 
I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.